when you're buying your mtumba sneakers or secondhand sneakers they all have a manufacturer's year it's like you're buying a car so with that manufacturer's year you can be able to negotiate the price if it's written 2018 then go ahead buy it at a higher price but if it's written 2015 or 2010 you know you can actually get it at a lesser price that's one major tip How are you doing? I hope Mukopoa. Welcome back to Petite Mama YouTube channel. If you're new here, guys, my name is Eunice. I'm a mom and I'm a wife. And welcome to this channel full of energy, full of entrepreneur ideas, full of positive vibes. So if you're new here, guys, please remember to subscribe or at least give this video a thumbs up and it's going to support my channel in so many ways. And I'm really, really going to appreciate. So today I'm in my living room, but behind me, I've displayed some of my Mtumba collection some of my mtumba shoes actually that's my biggest collection i rarely buy new shoes but once a while i get sandals or open sandals from butter that's just once a while but my biggest collection is actually mtumba yes i get them from gikomba or from suppliers who i know do do sell good shoes so on today's video guys i'm just going to share with you some of the few tips that i know personally when it comes to buying mtumba shoes and I really wanted to do this video with my hubby because he also has such an amazing, amazing collection of sneakers. And he also has some good ideas when it comes to purchasing Mutumba shoes. But he got busy and I really needed to do this video. But hopefully on my next video, I'm going to tell him to just share his two or three personal experiences when it comes to buying Mutumba sneakers. And I'm also doing this video because we are sports people. He's a basketballer. I'm also a basketballer. But back in the days so we got to get this comfort and of buying sneakers it's like a luxury that we have of collecting sneakers and basketball shoes you know what i'm talking about so anyway let's get to it without wasting time so number one thing when you're buying a mtumba shoe is that sometimes you have to know where you want to get your mtumba shoes so many mtumba shoes have so many dents that people don't get to see so tip number one guys is look at the shoe take a 360 degree turn before you purchase that shoe you want to make sure that you're not you are able to make sure that the dents are not there or at least they're not so bad of dents that they can just get rid of your shoe you know seal a dent excess you know what i'm talking about so that's tip number one tip number two guys is make sure you have a budget because mtumba shoes sometimes especially sneakers they are very expensive by the they are highly priced especially if they are it's a big brand like nike or adidas or lebron collections or kobe collection so those tend to be a little bit of a price so make sure you have a budget but once a while if you don't have a budget then just get that one big shoe or that one expensive shoe and go for it that's tip number two tip number three guys is that you want to make sure that you know your foot size your size when it comes to uk and the us size take note of that because so many people just know that i'm a size 39 i'm a size 40 but now when you're purchasing a mtumba shoe most of them are written in uk and us you see like this sneaker here this is a nike sneaker it's written us size 7 uk size 6 so for me i'm a perfect size 6 when it comes to uk i'm a uk size 6 so many people don't focus on the u.s size but those are the key things that you need to figure out when it comes to the size especially for mtumba collection when tip number four a mtumba shoe or a mtumba sneaker specifically sneakers is like buying a car so every sneaker has a manufacturer's here especially the big brands like it has a manufacturer's year by like in 2016 2017 let me just show you so like this shoe this is a nike shoe this is a nike sneaker it's written here 04 20th 2017 so we want to take key note of the year so this one is written 2017 if someone is selling for me this shoe at uh 20 at 2000 
I wouldn't take it because I'd be like, no, you can't sell for me a 2017 shoe for 2000 bob or 1500 or 1800. I feel like that is still on the higher side. So for me, I will still bargain. So bargain according to the manufacturers here. Don't allow to be cheated because so many people, but they don't know about the manufacturers here. So you can get a shoe like this for 2020 or 2019 or 2018. Then allow that person to sell it to you at a higher price. But a shoe that is written 2015 or 2016, no, 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 no. You got to negotiate. So that's tip number four, guys. Okay. Tip number five. If you want to know the originality of a Nike shoe or an or a Mtumba sneaker to be specific, is that you just want to make sure that you have the codes. How do I call them? Yes, it has a RN. They call them the RN codes. So you want to make sure you have the RN code. And the good thing about the RN code, when you when you just key in the RN code on your Google search, it automatically displays the kind of shoe that they have. Because for this brand like Nike, they have these RN codes, all of them in their system. So they can easily know, is this part of our shoe or not? Like, I hope you're getting... I hope you understand what I'm saying. So the RN code is written in numbers. Like this one is written 917867-400. So you put in this RN number on the Google and it automatically brings. And most original shoes are definitely manufactured in Vietnam. So like this one is written made in Vietnam. So you can see this is a Mtumba shoe. It's a secondhand shoe, Nike sneaker, but it's one of the best collection that i have it's new it's it's original it's comfortable so i got this for 1200 bob yes 1200 bob that time i didn't have money it wasn't on my budget but i was like you know what i need this shoe it's just nice it, it goes well with so many things a skirt a trouser you know some pants so it's just a perfect collection for me so those are the five tips that i can give you guys let me know if you've learned something or You've enjoyed at least one, two, or three things. Before a good number of hills, you know, Zile days nil for another interpreter an employment. I rock them in the offices, you know, but that's in the past now. I think I should be going now for more sneakers and more flat shoes because I've become more of a businesswoman and I need to be on the run. So you need very comfortable shoes. But once a while, if you're going out and you need to dress up, you need a pair of heels, ladies. You need a pair of heels. And let me just give you another tip, especially when it comes to wearing of heels. I feel like sneezing. Sorry. So when you're wearing a pair of heels and you're not good at walking with heels or you want to learn how to walk in heels, it's good to start with small inches. Don't rush into big inches. You can start with small inches and then move to chunky. You start with small inches or chunky heel. That makes you more comfortable. Like, I want to show you two different that I have this this heel and this this heel can you see yeah this is a smaller heel this is much comfortable to walk in so this shoe I used to put this shoe mostly for interviews so that I just be comfortable and I don't want to look too much so you want to go with a lower heel then this heel is just a perfect heel if you want to go for if you want to go out with your friends or over the weekend it looks it's so much of a, it brings out the lady in you. It's more, it's not like a party shoe, but it's just a shoe which you can also wear in the office. So it's just a standard, standard, eco to apple too, but it's a nice heel. This is also a Mtumba collection. This is one of my best heels. It's very comfortable by day and very classy. Another Mtumba collection of heel that I have is this. This is more now like a party shoe because it's kind of open, but I still can wear it once a while when I'm going out over the weekend. This is an original All Star Mtumba All Star. This shoe um, I was given by a friend because it wasn't fitting her, so I got it. I bought it from her, and uh, this one even has a what do we call it? The the car code. So I think when you run this car code, it can also tell you if this is original or not original. But it's really, it's really legit. It's an all-star original canvas or canvas, which is which. 
what i have here is one of my best boots this is also a mutumba collection e boot by the meka sana it's not so high in a pickup i think almost kwa magoti one of my oldest collection i don't have that shoe here but i have another boot i think it's it's it's, it's dirty because i wore it the other day going to gikomba it's one of my oldest boots that I have. So you want to take key note of rubber soles. Make sure that you have nice rubber soles. That so Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to leave you with a quick video as I'm testing all the shoes. So guys, thank you so much for over 500 subscribers. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So please remember to subscribe. And I'm really, 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 really going to appreciate the red button down there. So let me do this fast. Thank you.